the concern in the southern interior has shifted from uh, freshet to now mostly for, uh, regarding wildfire because it's been so dry. Despite this year's reading of a higher than normal snowpack, the Okanagan's dry spell has left Okanagan Lake half a meter below its usual goal target for lake levels. We started to draw the lake down early because of those high snowpacks, and now we're almost trying to play a little bit of catch up uh, because uh, it's very, very unlikely that we would uh, ever be able to reach, you know, our full pool target. Because of last year, I was trying to be a little conservative, you know, on the side of uh, not getting it that high. Uh, but now I'm even hoping uh, that we can get within about 30 centimeters of, of our our annual target there. If the low lake level continues this year, the expectation is that it wouldn't cause any significant problems. It really just depends on how dry it, it stays. We would typically not get into trouble in sort of a year one of a, say, a, a drought if, if that were to develop. Um, the problem would be uh, more if we were in, in a multi-year drought and then the lake stayed low and then would be getting lower and lower every year. The high elevation snow that is left on Okanagan Mountains is coming down at a steady level, which is aiding the lake level, but more rain in the area would be helpful not only to the lake, but also the ongoing concern for wildfires in these dry conditions. The freshet side of things looks pretty under control unless we were to get a large amount of precipitation come all at once, but uh, yeah, the, the conversation is quickly shifting to the wildfire threat take any rain we can get, but really the, the month is still below average sort of thing for many many parts of the Okanagan, really uh, looking at the numbers up to about the 24th of May, we're seeing only about, uh, you know, less than 15% of the average monthly precipitation for most of the Okanagan, so it's uh, it's been pretty dry. More dry weather is forecasted ahead into next week, with temperatures rising 10 degrees above normal, close to record temperatures for the day. For Castanet News and Penticton, I'm Casey Richardson.